I've got a very special treat for you today. So on Valentine's Day 2021, I fell prey to a scam perpetrated by a company called Bluemex. It's a real company operating a real scam out there right now in real time. You can check it out yourself and let's get into it. But first, we're gonna have to rewind back to February 6th where the story begins. On February 6th, 2021, I set out to be the proactive, loving, caring, thoughtful partner that I aspire to be. I was gonna pre-order the flowers early. I've been burned by trying to get flowers on the same day before and I wasn't going down that road again. So I started surfing the web, looking for flower delivery places in Toronto here where I live. This year I was going big, I was going for big air. I wasn't gonna settle for anything less than 36 red roses. You know, it's a COVID year. You can't go out to dinner at a restaurant. You gotta do something a little bit more special. So I started surfing the web. And a few minutes later, I found this amazing company with an amazing product, Bloomins. So I ordered it, boom, we're done. We're good. I can relax. And then I get an email a few minutes later being like, sorry, can't deliver it that day. Which is fine. That's a classy thing to do. Really quick, I don't mind. About 30, 40 minutes later, I happened across another perfect bouquet, this time by a company called Bloomex. It was beautiful, it was 36 roses. I clicked the super size button to make it even bigger. It almost seemed too good to be true. Now, unlike other companies, Bloomex didn't offer free shipping, which I thought was a bummer, but at the same time, it's once a year, so whatever. You know, I wanted to get there in all its splendor on February 14th, so whatever, I bite the bullet. Taxes, delivery fees, everything in it came out to an eye-watering 189.87, which is a lot, at least for me, to spend on something that's gonna die in three days. Or so I thought. So February 14th came and went, but the flowers didn't. The delivery window was supposed to be from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And by 9 p.m., I was starting to think maybe they weren't gonna make it on the same day. So I called Bluemex. Sometimes it would just ring and ring and ring. Nobody would ever answer it. Other times it just wouldn't ring at all, like it didn't exist. I also noticed they had a live chat feature on their site, which is good. I prefer that anyway. So I turned to that. Surely they could help me here. But each time that I tried to speak to an agent, John would give me just the same stock answers over and over. And then I realized it's just a bot. It's not a real agent. I was getting mad at this point. So I eventually just typed, let me talk to a real human. And maybe 15, 20 minutes later, someone said, I am a human. And that was really the extent of the help that they gave me. They weren't able to tell me anything about my order. Uh, they simply said, okay, we don't know where your flowers are. We don't know why they're not there, but a manager, they'll get back to you within 24 hours. So the next day, sadly, Valentine's Day has come and gone. No flowers have arrived. I live in a building with a 24 hour concierge. I went down multiple times to confirm that no giant, splendid, beautiful bouquets of flowers had arrived and they hadn't. So I began calling their customer service line again and again and again. And lo and behold, I finally was able to get a girl on the line who seemed completely disinterested in having anything to do with my order or helping me. She basically said, yeah, I don't really know what happened, but you know, important to note also, during this whole time, I was receiving these automated emails like, your order's in transit, your order's been delivered, your order's back in transit, it's left again, oh, it's arrived again. So clearly, somebody didn't know what was going on. So I insisted, I said, can I please speak to someone now? I'd really like to know, you know, I paid a lot of money for these flowers, it's late, I'm disappointed. She said, no, sorry, there's nobody here that can talk to you. And I said, how about your manager? That move, can I talk to your manager? I know, don't be that guy, but I just wanted to talk to somebody who could help me. She's like, no, sorry. They don't have phones. Your managers don't have phones, okay? But trust me, they'll get back to you within 24 hours. Now after telling my partner about it and explaining that I wasn't an unromantic flower-hating jerk, she did what she always did and went on a quest for more information. And she turned to the internet and she came back to me and said that the internet was littered with similar stories of people either getting the wrong product, not getting the product at all, getting horrible misfigured versions of the product that was advertised online. I was definitely not alone in my problem. So what was going on here? Who could be behind such a nefarious plot to separate good, hardworking people from their money on such a romantic holiday? Enter 
Dimitri Laconia. Now, as it turns out, this guy has a pretty rich history of defrauding people. But why haven't they been shut down? The internet is littered with horror stories similar and worse than mine. Is Bluemex a front for some other shady business? Why haven't they been shut down? Now, if you don't believe me, just go on any one of their Twitter posts and look at all the replies. Do it now. Now, this is partially on me, right? If I had done even 20 seconds of due diligence before going online shopping, I would have immediately emptied my virtual cart and would have been saved the nearly $200 loss that I incurred. But over the course of the pandemic and over my lifetime, I guess, I've grown so accustomed to these high-level customer experiences through Amazon and through Apple and these other companies that I just have gotten this false sense of security about online shopping. There's a very certain order to things. You place it in the cart, you confirm your order, you receive a confirmation email, it arrives at the exact time that it was estimated to, you pick it up, you repeat the process, and everybody's good. And that was my expectation with Bluemex as well. So understandably, when this just doesn't happen, it's so shocking in a world that over delivers on customer service. Now I want to give you a taste of Bluemex's wonderful customer service, so come with me. Let's call them back and get a status update on my order. Thank you for calling Bluemax. Thank you for calling Bluemax. Thank you for calling Bluemax. To inquire about an existing order, please press 2. Yes. How can I help you? Yeah, I was just wondering if I could uh, get a status update on my order. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. Uh, well, I have checked information as you can to deliver your order, but uh, there was um, no answer. No I answer? There was no answer. No. So I live uh, in a. If you wish, we can. I live in a con. Today. I live in a condo, so there's somebody there. 24 hours a day for deliveries. If you wish, I can send a request to resend. Do you think it'll arrive by Valentine's Day like I ordered? Mm, I don't think that it's okay, but I think that uh, anyway, she will be glad to receive all flowers. Why not? Do you think it'll arrive by Valentine's Day though? Perhaps nobody was home at this moment, but I'm sure I don't have this information here. Just I see that uh, there was no answer on the phone call. Oh, okay, there's a, a 24 hour concierge though, so there's always someone there. Maybe, I don't know, somebody was confused. Maybe they thought I said Valentine's like 2023, 24. Maybe you guys are waiting until next year to send them for next Valentine's? Uh, I'm sorry, what are you worried about? Oh, see, I had ordered them for this Valentine's Day, but now it's March 6th and still haven't seen anything yet, so. And do you think she will not accept this flowers if it's not Valentine's Day, right? Or well, it's not Valentine's Day today. Well, I mean, I paid shipping for them to arrive on Valentine's Day, and then just nothing was ever sent, so... I should probably get my money back, right? Our position is that if we have, uh, if we once have prepared the to ship the order, we cannot refund this order. Okay. So, can you tell me when this was packed and shipped? On the 14th of February. It was shipped on the 14th? Wow. Where's it coming from? I think the flowers are going to be dead by now, if that's the case, because it's March 6th. Um, do you think that we are going to resend the same flowers? I'd, if they were shipped on the 14th, um, I'm I not sure. Make a new arrangement. Are they shipping from Siberia or Alaska, or where are they coming from? So if they were shipped, where did they go if they didn't make it to me? Okay, anyway, I have already passed this information to higher staff. This can be read um, in the email from us. And now I have to end up this session. Thank you for calling us. Bye-bye. <laughs> there you have it. Bluemex customer service at its finest. So the Bluemex scam relies on a couple things. Important to take note. This is what they do. First of all, they have a policy which is on their website that says, once an order is picked, packed, and shipped, we are not responsible to refund it whatsoever. 
And so you could place your order right now and 15 seconds later call them and be like, hey, sorry, made a mistake, need to cancel my order. They're like, sorry, it already shipped. We tried to deliver it, you weren't there, not our problem. Second thing they do is they say, sorry, you weren't home, we tried to deliver it, poor us, we sent our guy there, that you don't answer your phone, you're not home, how are we supposed to deliver these beautiful flowers? Which doesn't hold water for me because I live in a building with a 24 hour concierge, like I said before, everything gets delivered there all the time. You just have to walk through the front door and give it to the receptionist, they hold it for me. Nothing was delivered, checked multiple times but they're going to default to that, as you heard. They're gonna say, sorry, you didn't answer your phone. It was already shipped. It was shipped multiple weeks ago within the same city. Don't ask us, it's magic, okay? You know, traffic is really bad, okay? Your flowers are still out there in a two week long traffic jam. We couldn't get in your building. There was armed guards, dogs, don't worry about it. Just let us have your money. One last interesting point here. I went to work after that Valentine's Day a few days later and I happened to be talking to some coworkers about this and two different people out of a sampling of like 20 people had the same story about Bluemex from the same weekend that they just didn't receive their flowers. So I guess I'm not alone. This is pretty widespread. So good for you, Bluemex. You got our money. You still got your flowers. We don't have flowers, so you win this round. So don't use Bluemex. That's the point of this. They're running a scam. Find someone local that's cool. Maybe go see the flowers in person. And hopefully you guys have better luck than I did this year. Let me know if you've had similar issues with Bluemex or with just scam companies in general, and I will see you next time.